And today, Amy and I are going to talk about the three habits, the three habits to improve confidence. Let's hear from Amy. You know, what are the three habits that you will uh, that you will want to adopt, and then maybe you will suggest to everyone for improving confidence. So, so I mean, if you asked me this last year, um, maybe it would have been different. So now, like the first, the first thing I was thinking about this topic uh, earlier, just before the live, is maybe what what does confidence mean? So whenever mm -hmm. someone asks me a question these days, I want to understand because confidence is, is a word. Mm -hmm. What's the connotations behind the word confidence? If, as Jean said, it may mean some different things for different people. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, confidence. When I think of confidence, it means um, I got my own back. Right? I feel. I feel supported. I feel like I can do the things that I want to do. And I have no fear of being seen. So those are probably the, the, um, the three aspects of confidence for me. Mm -hmm. So the first way that I, I would say is this is, was what I did um, last year a lot. <laughs> the first tip is um, to not let, first off, if people are watching this video, it's because they struggle with confidence, okay? Mm -hmm. They sure they feel at the moment that they're lacking in confidence, that confidence isn't something that they have. So my first tip would be, if that's how you feel, do not let that stop you, okay? You, first off, don't need to fix that about yourself nothing wrong with you or broken you're not weak you're not weak or uh, you shouldn't feel ashamed for for not having confidence you have it accept that about yourself right now this is where i'm at i feel like i lack confidence i feel a little afraid of being seen i feel hesitant about doing the things that i want to do in my life i feel unsupported so fine you have that feeling doesn't mean it needs to dictate what you do so what i was doing last year was <laughs> I don't feel confident. This is something that I'm always very vocal about. Mm -hmm. I have terrible self-esteem. When I say terrible, uh, I have a very low, poor opinion of myself, both as how I am as a person and how I look. But do I let that stop me? <laughs> no, no, no. That's the choice that we have. You have no confidence in yourself. Why let that stop you? Do it. Okay, it doesn't mean that just because you feel that way, you have to act that way. So mm -hmm. this was the first thing that I feel the fear and do it yeah. anyway would be the Great. best thing. Yeah, yeah. ever yeah. write it down in the comment, feel yeah. the fear, do it anyway. Screw, screw lack of confidence. Who says, who says that lack of confidence means you have to hide? Who said that? Doesn't mean right. anything. Doesn't mean anything at all. It's I a still, fear that's hiding yeah. you, right? I still ignore that every day <laughs> when I when I do my YouTube I still I just ignore it it's not but I don't do it in a way that I'm but you do it, it. anyway yeah, yeah you're not hiding you exactly. do it daily everybody Amy does it daily <laughs> not um, what's the word I'm not saying I'm not resisting it it's like okay I feel um need a clean word crappy about myself so doesn't mean I have to hide what okay so this is the first thing just because you feel it doesn't mean you have to act it okay mm -hmm. my second my second tip would be looking more on um question why do you feel like you need confidence what is lacking in you right now that makes you feel like you don't have confidence what does lack of confidence feel like for you and maybe take some time and space every single day to explore it with curiosity because at the moment confidence is this concept and lack of confidence is this concept what does it mean to you how do you feel when you lack confidence do you feel fear do I feel like I I'm unsupported do I feel like I you know I, no one's got my back if it, you know I, I, I feel afraid or like I lack the power or something to, to do what I want to do I'm afraid of, of people's reaction to me I'm thinking too much about other people's opinions I feel shame about myself and my appearance things like that what does it what's the feeling that's causing you to feel at the moment that you lack confidence and then and then my, let's say, a practical tip, once you get to that point and you start questioning it, is question, 
whose belief is that? So let's say you lack confidence because of your physical appearance. Okay, let's say you feel, I feel I lack confidence because I don't like my physical appearance. It's not acceptable to me. Okay, question, whose opinion is that? Whose belief is that? Who conditioned that into you? Because when you were a baby, you were the way that you were and you didn't care. So you've learned that that's not your, that's not your belief. And because it's not your belief, you don't have to hold on to it. So mm -hmm. question it. Don't fight it. Don't push it down and say, no, I have confidence. I am confident. No, no, I'm not going to listen. Instead, explore it. Question it. You don't have to. These things that are programmed into you, you don't have to listen to them. They're not even yours. The third thing. So this is number two. So first That's thing, very important. Yeah. <laughs> first thing, don't let lack of confidence stop you. Do what mm -hmm. you want to do. I no promise fear. you it's okay. I promise you nothing bad has happened to me when I have done things ignoring lack of confidence, ignoring like I don't feel confident. It's not like I did all this stuff last year and then everyone starts laughing at me and, you know, my whole world fell apart and I, you know, I had to run and hide. Nothing bad happened, okay? So just ignore it and do what you want to do. Don't let it stop you. Number two, explore the, let's say, uh, emotional and conditioning aspect of it a little more. And the third thing would be something practical that everyone can do is there are times, like if you, if you think of the times in your life, it's never like all the time in your life you lack confidence. All the time in your life you feel crappy about yourself. All the time in your life you're afraid. That's not likely no, to be the case. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there are probably times where you feel good about yourself. There are probably times, circumstances, situations where you feel supported, where you feel like you can do what you want to do, stand up, make uh, decisions that, that, that uh, will bring you happiness and joy and do things that you enjoy doing. There's probably times like that. So focus on those more and fill your life more with the things that you enjoy doing because when you enjoy doing something and you feel good, you, you don't care. You don't care so much about like what, what's your, let's say, external, what people are thinking or what might happen because you're in the moment. You're enjoying it in the moment. And if you're in the moment enjoying it, all this other noise is just not going to be there. So I would say focus more on filling your life with the things that you enjoy doing that make you feel good. So you're sort of filling yourself up in that way. And, you know, and that you'll get some po positive momentum going doing that. Okay, and once you've got the positive momentum going, you feel more supported, you feel like you have more power, more personal, let's say, more, more empowerment, and you know, you're going to get that forward momentum and be moving away from the let's hide, you know, let's do the shame, things like that. Don't push yourself. So, so let's say, um, so for example, for me, um, singing, uh, I actually like have a, a decent singing voice, but uh, I'm terrified to sing and I lack confidence to sing in public. But that's one thing that I'm not going to push myself too much to do because I feel I feel so, uh, let's say, so much fear about it that, you know, at, I, at this point in my life, I'm not going to do that. I'm not say rule it out, but I'm going to focus on the small things that I can achieve and focus on the small ways that I can put myself out there and like build up that positive momentum we're gonna do a karaoke night so yeah <laughs> <laughs> i have done it i have i have a few times i've been on instagram and you know that like i said there are times and circumstances when i will do it and then focus on that yeah focus on the times that you do feel empowered because it's not true to say that all the time you feel disempowered start to notice more hang on i do actually have a good opinion of myself i do actually in some circumstances feel confident mm -hmm. So those are my three tips. Oh, amazing. I love that. Yes. I hope everybody notes it down, right? Note down the three uh, tips. You can call them tips or the habits from Amy yeah. about having empowering, actually empowered confidence. I would like to call it, I would like to summarize what Amy just said here as the empowered confidence, you know, not just like 
the confidence that the media or like newspaper or everybody blabs on about, right? Because we are talking about confidence all the time, like almost every day or whenever you search for a motivation video, right? People talk about confidence, confidence in different, you know, like、uh, realms of our life: confidence in speaking, confidence in singing, confidence in sports, physical in the body, confidence in,、uh, you know, health and fitness and career. I don't know, confidence in everything, right?、Um, Um, like just now, when Amy, I love that Amy mentions about how, like in our life, we're not always lacking the confidence.、Mm -hmm. We are actually happy and confident in a lot of things that we do, but we're not aware of it because, right? Because we are actually, how should I say it? Like, like people always say, you know, like Master always says that when you're in flow, when you're actually enjoying. Something that you do, you are not noticing it. You know, you're not aware of that. Hey, you know, hey, I'm actually enjoying. I'm not struggling. You just do it, right? That is when your your true confidence comes out because you are actually in the moment of doing something that you enjoy. And this brings me to one of the habits that I would like to share with everybody is about practice, consistent practice. Which is basically applying to the things that that say you don't enjoy, you're not good at, but you know that you need it, right? Because we don't need to master everything in the world, but if it's anything that you will actually personally want to like put out there, right? You know that, for example, a lot of people would speak to me about social confidence, okay, emotional confidence and social confidence. Like you know, I'm not. Uh, for example, in a social situation, I'm not very good at like talking to people, or I don't know what to say, how to strike a conversation. Just an example, right? Then you know that this is kind of a skill. It's a communication skill that you know that you need it, right? Unless you don't think that it's important to you, then it's okay. You don't need to work on it. But if you know that this is something that you want to work on, then you have to put in the right, you know, practice the right actions. The more you practice, the better you become at something. Like we're talking about, just in the context of、um, learning a skill, like yoga, for example, right? Before we came here live, Amy and I were just talking about how last year we were together, like practicing yoga four hours a day for like whole two months, right? And then those practices made us like a lot better. Like it made all of us advance in yoga. Uh, you know asanas, you know a lot faster than if we were to practice on our own. So that is just a you know simple example there. You know the more you practice, the more you master something, and then the more confident you become because you become better, you become good at it, and then you don't have any fears, you don't have any sort of like embarrassments or concerns and doubts and all this other crap, right? <laughs> That's like trying to hide you. So,、um, so one of my like you know. Uh, you can call it tip, or you can call it like the habits, which I also apply to myself is to consistently practice. You know, like you may not want to go like hardcore every day if it's not sustainable. Right? <laughs> We we're just saying, I wish we could like still practice for four hours a day. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Rebecca Giomasa, if they hear this, they will be like, you should be, <laughs> right? <If> you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, but、um, you know, we're just saying that you know, if you are able to like basically create that consistency, like you know, half an hour a day, ten minutes a day. I don't know what is it that you guys are working on. Comment below if you are for twenty twenty one. If you are working on picking up a new skill or learning something, right? Then you have to have a plan of like how long each day, or I don't know how often each week do you plan to spend time to work on it, right? Learning a new language, you know, what is your plan? You know, get yourself a spouse or a partner that speaks the language. I always tell everyone that's the fastest way. Get yourself a boyfriend or girlfriend that speaks that language. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the fastest, right? Yeah. yeah, it's like you know, what 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 one bird two stones. I mean, I mean, one stone two birds. Yeah. What did I say? One bird, two stones. Two birds,、yeah. one stone. Yeah. Two birds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One stone, two birds. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, like so. Yeah, like come up with a smart plan. Just an example. That's a smart plan, right? You know, one stone, two birds, kind of smart plan.、Um, yeah. So to continue on, right? I'll be very quick. The other two、uh, habits that I would personally、um, suggest everybody, and also I personally practice,、uh, are okay. The next one is basically、uh, zero distraction. Zero. This is zero. Zero distraction. Zero distraction basically goes back to what Amy and I were talking about in a lot of the previous episodes,、um, in terms of focusing on your own journey. 
you know, like put on the blindfold and stay in your own lane, right? So that is what I mean by zero distraction. Um, because I feel that when we think of this zero distraction as a whole, as a holistic thing, rather than like, um, say, oh, no distraction from the phone, the social media, or other things, right? Those are all like within this whole zero distraction. Because when you know what journey that you're crafting for yourself, you know what destination that you are heading towards, what aims that you have, you know, what objectives and intentions that you got, whether it's for 2021 or for your lifetime, you know, everybody has different sort of visions and missions, right? That you're working towards. You actually already know that, you know, I, sh I shouldn't let like, I don't know, hey, there's something else. Hey, you know, there's all this, all these like, you know, things popping up to distract you. And that to me, if you're able to actually really commit to, right, basically practicing, you know, being focused, commit to practicing, you know, what's the word, pushing away distractions, life distractions let's put it this way life distractions this will actually make you more confident confident meaning um <laughs> i have similar you know concept to amy when it comes to confidence right but just to put it into a very simple term you know confidence meaning you know exactly what you want and you don't let anything get in the way that is my you know definition of confidence okay uh, if you look up a dictionary or wikipedia or something like that it would give you a different answer but this is my answer, you know, when someone's conf when you feel confident, when you know you're confident, you can confidently say no to things. Okay. You're not going to be saying yes to everything. And you know when to say yes, when to say no without thinking that, mm, okay, I'll just say yes. I'm afraid of hurting that person's feeling. Okay. And then inside you, you really want to say no, right? How many of you, like, you know, if you're watching right now, let me, let us know in the comment below if you have been in that situation, right? And then you kind of regret it or something you say no and you're like, ah, oh, I regret, I should say yes. When you're confident, you don't regret. You just know that, okay, I say yes to that experience already. I fully open myself up to everything that I was supposed to receive. And whatever consequences and outcomes that was supposed to come with that, you know, it was all my decision, you know, no regret for that. Maybe there were some mistakes and some, I don't know, <laughs> you know, some kind of like uh, ups and downs, you know, with that experience. But hey, that was an experience. Okay, no going, going back. So basically, that is uh, my second one. Okay, zero distraction, focus on your own journey. And the 100% like, 100% uh, feeling like you have the ownership, you know, you have the 100% ownership of your life, of your journey. Okay, and I know this is like, you know, it sounds like it's easy said and done. But which is why, you know, I mentioned about the practice first, right? <laughs> the whole human life is about practicing. You know, we're born, we come here to experience human life and we're come, we've come here to practice. Yeah, so that's my two other ones. And now my third one, ah, this one relates to the room that Amy's at, is prioritizing me time. You need to prioritize your time, your time, you time, <laughs> right? So um, why I say this, I think some of you may have like heard me mentioning about this a lot, especially, you know, after the new year, that is because it's one of my personal intentions for this year as well. And also after like many years of um, doing the whole entrepreneur, entrepreneur thing, I realized that I had not actually prioritized my own well-being. Like I... Maybe a lot of people can relate to this as well, right? When you're building your own business, you get so caught up in the hustle and the grind and it's like almost consuming your whole life. And I did not, I was not aware of how much I was actually consumed in like, you know, working um, that it took away a lot of my like attention from actually just being with myself and like giving that quality time to myself which includes rest, like really rest, like rest your mind. I'm not talking about just sleeping, but I'm talking about like rest your mind, like really, really kind of give yourself that time to not do anything. And for me and for a lot of people, I'm sure like maybe Amy can also relate to that, right? Because especially you had a hardcore athletic period too, that like any waking hour you want to devote, you want to put that waking hour into like work or like training or whatever that's associated with the career and the work you're building, right? So it really becomes your life. Your life becomes just work, 
and I actually I mean luckily I haven't actually kind of like got like really sick or anything like that because I've heard stories where some you know business people actually have been spending so much time and consume so much just so much of their energy in business building one day they just collapsed and you know went to the hospital like that and it's really heartbreaking to see that's what happened to a lot of people actually you know behind the scenes of success what people see you know on the screen or you know the glam and the glitz there's a lot of hard work behind the scenes that is for sure everybody has to put in hard work but also the question is is there a way that we can create that balance right so that it's not about you know 24 7 hustle and grind but you're still able to you're able to effectively and efficiently productively create the work towards you know whatever the the fruition you want to have but also at the same time you're able to enjoy life you know enjoy you know living this body that you got and enjoy nourishing this body and soul that you got with you know the different external experiences like humans and you know the nature everything so um which is why you know i want to say that prioritizing yourself and also knowing how and when to prioritize yourself like your self-care time your me time is actually a sign of confidence and so practice that practice prioritizing yourself and create time every day to give yourself the quality quality self-care time can actually uh, boost your confidence you know like some people might listen to it like but i'm not doing work how is that helping me <laughs> right like you know you're not putting the active work how's that helping you there's a quote that i saw in one of the books i've been reading recently it's so amazing um it says that when you start to rest you start to you start being okay i'm gonna say that again okay when you start resting you start being mm -hmm. yes so when i read that it was like a big aha moment i had to highlight that sentence in the book i'm like right when we have that space of calmness that space of no noise just quietness we actually start being you know being as a wholesome person mm -hmm. and relaxation brings you power and i know that relaxation is probably a challenge for a lot of people especially when we try to meditate right <laughs> we're trying so hard uh, but there's all all these like noise and thoughts coming in so when we can actually allow our body to relax and this is where we become more powerful so um yeah so i hope everybody can take the moment to like you know digest what i just mentioned here so three habits prioritize me time zero distraction focus on your own journey and practice so these are my three confidence habits this is for everybody not just for women okay <laughs> yeah back to you amy i remember when we were talking about um you know you feel lost or stuck and people are hustling what should i do with my life things like that well ultimately why are we even working hard anyway why are you working for your goals anyway why do you want to do these things anyway you want peace you want to be able to stop and, and say i did it now i can be present because i did it I'm, I'm i'm here i've arrived but what you mentioned is so important is that that's available to you anytime not in the future but in some future moment where you've achieved your fantasy but also right now and that's when you actually realize that everything that you're chasing out there is actually right now is is present and then you be you actually connect you actually recharge you, you um will take more let's say intuitive inspired action if you take that time to rest because you're not chasing 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 some fantasy you're actually reacting to the present moment in in a, a present and intuitive way the second aspect of what she was saying with this was that like filling your own cup up spending time with yourself well how can that help you with your confidence it's because well a lot of the time we feel unconfident because we feel unsupported we feel weak if you're taking the time for yourself, we men mentioned this in the self-love, self-care uh, episode, anything that and we take it for granted, we think I have, a, I, I hate myself, I don't love myself. And then actually, if you were to, to spend time and, and notice the things that you do every single day for yourself, but take for granted and realize, actually, I do care for myself. And every time you're doing something for yourself, you've got your own back. You say, mm -hmm. I matter, I, I am worthy, I'm enough of love of success because i am taking the time to do these things for myself so it's super important then you have your own back then you're not 
an empty cup. You've actually got, you know, substance to you, power to you. Um, and then the third thing that came up was was just like more of a, I, my brain likes to sort of contemplate stuff and, and have fun with that. And I was just thinking um, with the social media aspect of it, I was just thinking if if we lived in, let's say, my entire world was this room and there is no one in it. OK, let's say our, our life is we never see or interact with any other person. Would you have any doubts about yourself? Would you feel lacking in anything? Would you feel not beautiful? Would you feel not worthy? Would you feel like a failure, like a like you can't do anything? No, no, you, we only have these lack of confidence, these, these beliefs because of other people. Mm. That's the only thing. I think it's the quote, like hell is other people. Well, it is, but if we didn't have other people, you would never feel confident. You would never be comparing, I'm not enough, I'm not enough. So those aren't even, it's not your true nature to doubt yourself. It's not your true nature to feel like this. Those are not your thoughts, not your beliefs, not your, not your mm -hmm. feelings about yourself. So you don't need them. You don't need to listen to them. <laughs> right. So we have to imagine ourselves as if we are in a, in our own room, right? In our, you know, right. sanctuary, in our own and sanctuary. Yeah. yeah. And like, the, how, no one else is around us. Yes. And I'm just saying like, how would I live? If that's actually the case, just think of how freeing that is. Just imagine, like, what would I do right now if there were no other people, no one, no one watching me, no other, like, a, opinions and feelings? How would I live my life? Would just, you know, this is it. And then try to do that. Yeah, I love that, actually. This is a great point there, you know. I think to, for us to get there, a very strong visualization meditation can really help, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And then to, to really make that visual imprint so strong so that when you come back here in the physical world, you're able to live like that. Like, you know, nothing else matters, you know, not nothing else matters, but like the comparison, right? The yeah, comparison yeah. trap, we would call it the comparison trap, right? It is a trap actually. And yeah. it's a trap that's very hard to get out of. Right. We all know those people, like, just if everyone just maybe take a moment just to think of, of that, like, maybe one or two people that you know in your family or in your friend circle or your life that, like, genuinely just does what they want to do and does not care how, like, good or, you know, how it's received. I'm just thinking of someone um, that, that within, like, within my extended family who, who just, just is always posting videos of her singing. And... Um, I wouldn't say that she's like a, you know, textbook, amazing singer, but she doesn't care. Oh, and I, if, good on her for doing if, that. If I'm honest, and, and a lot of people, you know, are you just making fun or something like that, and I'm, I'm envious. I'm like, well, I would love to not care, you know? So, like, she just does what she wants to do. How amazing, how beautiful. So that shows me that saying I'm not going to do it because I'm scared of not being good enough, because I'm scared of, of people's opinion, that's actually not necessarily how you need to live your life. That's a choice that you're making. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live your life that way. You don't have to care what people think or how, how good you are. You really don't. Because I know this because there are people who really don't care and they just do what they want to do. So right, choice, right. How do you want to live your life? You want to live your life being afraid and never doing anything or just going for it? not care i don't know if i'm good or not doesn't matter i want to do this so that's like a choice that we can make it, who who said that we we have to listen to our fear and not do it or you know all of that who says you have to be confident just do it absolutely i love that you know <laughs> just don't give a f all right <laughs> that is our final <laughs> tip for yes, like being confident. <laughs> it's pretty much that don't give a f right <laughs> <laughs> But, but but everybody, you know, you got to apply that intelligently, okay? Don't just like randomly go, all right, don't give an F about anything. There's going to be so many videos of people singing. <laughs> so I'm just oh, gonna... go for it, go for it, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.